The kicker's got the ball set up, and we're ready to get this thing started. Excellent kick. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. The Scarlet Knights and their coaching staff, Kirk, just happy to have a guy like this in the program. Their offense really clicks when he's playing well. Well, I think it gives them the diversity that they're looking for. I mean, at times they're going to run the football. Other times they're going to try to air it out. And when you have one guy that gets so much attention on the outside, it just seems to open up other aspects of their offensive attack. And they've done a good job as an offensive staff of putting together a good plan. And I'm sure we're going to see it again today. That makes it 7 and 6. From their own 29-yard line, it's second down. He's to the 40, and they make the stop around the 41-yard line. What a throw for a big gain. That is a great example of the quarterback seeing the whole field and finding the guy who had the best chance of making a catch. They hand it off. He's tackled at the 42-yard line. From their own 42-yard line, it's second down. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. That's a game of four. That'll bring up third and six. Gives it right side. The ball is loose. Scoops it up. And this could be a big return for the 20, for the 10. Touchdown, VTech. Defensive touchdowns give teams such a big morale lift. This is a really nice play to grab the loose ball and take it the distance. Tacks on the extra point. Virginia Tech ready to kick this one off. Sends it sailing downfield. And they can forget about returning this one. Virginia Tech's loving this crowd support, and they get it week in and week out. Well, that's one thing they can count on every single time they play in this stadium is creating an environment that's going to allow them to play with an edge on defense. Great start to this game. Now let's see if they can just continue it. Gets to about the 27-yard line. Second down and eight. Ball on the 27-yard line. Gets it. He's in space. And he's taken down around the 42-yard line. Just another weapon for this offense. He's got good hands, and he's tough to bring down. He showed right there that he can make something big happen. First and ten. Ball on the 42-yard line. And he gets a yard on the run. That's a That brings up second and nine. Coaches look to linebackers for leadership on defense. And on that tackle, he showed you why that's the case. Third down, and they need to get it inside the 48s. And he's hit before he can go anywhere. From the 40-yard line, first down. Black five, black five, X seven. 
Motion check Go! Tackled after a decent pickup. It's a nice job again up front by the offensive line. They're doing a good job of neutralizing the defensive front, and it's allowed them to move the ball down the field. This is the eighth play of this drive. Black five, black five. Let's go. Throws complete. He's got room to work. Tackle made at the 15, and a nice pickup there. I'll tell you what, the defense gambled a bit here and came with the blitz, and the quarterback showed tremendous poise by making a good read and delivered a nice ball to the open man. Throws it away. Tenth play of the drive. Tackle right around the 12 yard line. And here's another third down. Here we go. Hey, kill, kill, kill. Flair. They go. They go. There's the strike complete. He's hit and taken down. Makes the catch, but just not enough for the first. Yeah, they're going to come up a little bit short here. Nice job by the defense of preventing this completion from turning into a first down. He gets it up, and the field goal is good. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He really got a hold of that kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. So now both teams come trotting back out onto the field. Virginia Tech is up four. Brought down at the 39. It's first and 10. Ball on the 39. Nice run there. Nice gain of around seven yards on that delay. So at the end of one, the Hokies in front, 7-3. And we're back for more action here in quarter number two. Makes the catch and look out. They'll bring him down around the 46-yard line. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 46-yard line. Here's the handoff, and he's taken down for a loss. He knew it was a run all the way. He got a good jump. Once he got there, he wasn't about to let him slip away either. He's at the 40, and down he goes to the 38-yard line. So it's third down, and they've got about two yards to go. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. First 
Virginia Tech is up by four. Look at the scramble down. He can't get away from the pressure. That'll bring up second and 15. Here's the eighth play of the series. He makes it to the 35-yard line. That's a gain of three on the play. That'll make it third, third down, and they need to get it to the 23. Three down, three down. Mark 22, Mark 22. Looks to his receiver, first down. Steps out of bounds around the 17-yard line. Here's play number 10 on the drive. Three down, three down. Mike 22, he's coming, 22, he's coming, Mike, Mike. He tackles him for a loss. One yard loss for the halfback. Loss of one yard on the play. That makes it second and 10. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 18 yard line. This is the 12th play of this drive. Virginia Tech holds a four-point lead. Just throws this one away. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. It's up, and he's got it. Even though they gave up a field goal here, that defense is feeling pretty good about themselves right now. It could have just as easily been a touchdown. They line up to kick this one away. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. gets rid of this one. The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. Second and ten. Ball on the 25. Black five! Black five! Easy, easy! Blue 20! They'll make the sack. Boy, this pass rush is sometimes scary. They're really getting after the quarterback now. That brings us third and 14. it to the halfback on the screen. The screen pass goes nowhere. Well, you got to take your hat off to the defense. All week, they preached over and over again how they were not going to let this kid use his speed in the open field, and they really shut him down that time. get this one off and it's a beauty he got hit hard a really defensive battle going on right now so far Kirk. well the defenses are flying around the football doing a good job i think both offenses are making it a little easier because of their style of game plan i think part of the offensive coordinator take a few chances be willing to open it up and try to give your quarterback a chance to make a play virginia tech is up by a touchdown Caught with room to work. He's taken down at the 48-yard line. 
from their own 48 yard line. It's first down. Room around the corner. Knocked out of bounds at the 49. Second and nine. Right, 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 right. Four down, four down. I got you, 88. I got you. Mike's 22. Mike's 22. 74. Motion. Motion, motion. I got you. Now he's scrambling. Level at the 36-yard line. What a play by the freshman linebacker. There's really nothing he could have done against a rush like that. The sack makes this a fourth and very low. And this one is a beauty. He fields the punt at the 16. What a collision. The Scarlet Knights have got to find a way now to get the football in this guy's hands. And I think about basketball players and a jump shooter. If you can't get him the, the ball, get him to the free throw line and get him one free one from 15 feet, Herbie. I agree with you 100%. I mean, this is one of those games where the defense has just been suffocating. They've taken this wide receiver out of the game. Uh, this offense has not been able to come up with some answers. I would continue to fight as an offensive coordinator and a play caller to find different ways to get this receiver in touch. And all it takes, Brad, as you said, is just one play to maybe create that spark and get this confidence established for this offense. From their own 27-yard line, second down. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Blue four. Blue four. Set. Check, check. Answer, Dan. Go. Quick throw. He's at midfield, and he's finally shoved out at the 45. A great first half comes to a close. Virginia Tech's lead is a touchdown. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. We've been looking forward to this game all week and it has lived up to billing. A close game. You feel like that it's going to be a great second half and boy, we've got the perfect guys in the booth. What a reward today for Nestler and Herb Street to get this game. But you know, it's not a secret, Reese. They get the best game every week that we think's on the schedule, right? So they got this grave. It's great. It's close. It's going back and forth. I mean, what a treat to watch one of the best games of the year just unfolding in front of us. And more importantly, to hear the silky smooth sounds of Kirk Herbstreet and Brad Nessler. Does it get any better? David's ready to get back on that couch, get the remote, get all the games dialed up to watch what's going on around the country. Time to get you back for your second half. Brad and Kirk, ready to roll. All right, Reese, David, thanks, guys. Just about set to start the third quarter. He sends this one deep. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Both squads are digging in now. Let's see what happens on this next drive. Virginia Tech is up seven. There's a fumble. Now the quarterback has the ball, and they hit him in the backfield. their own 25-yard line. Second down. He's tackled around the 22-yard line. He had nowhere to go on that option play. Boy, you're right. He's lucky he held on to the football there. They come out on an empty backfield. Go. 
and they make the stop around the 31 yard line. I'd say that went about as well as the defense hoped it would. That makes it fourth and four. Oh, excellent punt. I just love to watch this defense play. They've been flying all over the field today, making big play after big play. The crazy thing is, we still have such a close game despite how well they play. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. Call it a gain of seven yards. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. Four down, four down. Here we go. Red, two, yellow, three. And he's taken down right around the 36-yard line. Third down, and they're about two yards shy of the sticks. Nice run, and he's brought down. Gain of seven on the play. That makes it first and ten. Three down, three down. Three down, three down. Dog four. Orange three. He makes it out to maybe the 43-yard line. That makes it second and 10. From their own 43-yard line, it's second down. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Green nine. Hit as he threw, and he completes it. At the 30, and he's tackled at the 24. A lot of fast receivers can be one-dimensional, but he's been working with his coaches to become more confident as a route runner. His progression has been very impressive. What was that? So after the big pass play, we've got a first down. Right, right, Roger, Roger. Four down, four down. Watch 14, watch 14. Run left side. And he carries the ball for a nice game. That's a game of four. That makes it seven and six. Right left, right left. Four down, four down. At 58 is the mic. Well, 58 is the mic. Black five, black eight. Hand off, and he's met immediately. Third down again. Catches it and hit immediately for a loss. They lose four there. That's just a sound play by the defense. They dropped him well short of the line of scrimmage. Try a long field goal here. He gets it up and it's long enough, and he just drilled it from long range. Rutgers is ready to kick it away. Excellent kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Here comes the offense. No doubt looking to take better care of the ball on this drive. One general rule in any game is to hold on to the ball. If you're in the negative in the turnover department, your chances of winning decrease exponentially. Nice gain as he works to the right side. Second and six. Ball on their own 29. Virginia Tech is up four. 
Nice run up the middle. A nice seven yard gain on the option keeper. He gets out to about the 45-yard line. So the option keeper goes for about a yard. This safety is as vicious a player as you're going to find. He will make the tackle every single time. And so it's another third down upcoming here. A great game so far, and it looks like it'll be decided in the fourth. 10-6, Virginia Tech. Great three quarters of action, tight ball game, and now it's the fourth quarter, and this will decide it. He's at the 40. Tackle made at the 32. Well, that's the second time that this defense has given up a first down on third down. You work so hard as a defense to get an offense to third down. When you get them there, you've got to be able to have somebody step up and make a big play. Whether it's a defensive tackle slipping through a block, a linebacker shooting a gap, a defender in the secondary that's able to make a play on a football. Somebody's got to make a play, and that's where winning, the difference between winning a football game and losing is how you play on third down. This is the eighth play of this drive. Virginia Tech is up by four. Tackle at the 28-yard line. Well, they'll line it up again on third down. Two for two so far on this drive. And down he goes at about the 15-yard line. Tenth play of the drive. to the tailback good for about four yards. That makes it second and six. It's second down, six to go. Ball on the 11 yard line. Got some open field. Brought down at the three. Here's the 12th play of the drive. him down right around the two-yard line. Pick up of a yard for the tailback. That brings him second and goal. That brings up a second and goal. All on the two. Just under three to go in regulation.
just throws this one away. Great job by the defense at getting after that quarterback. And right now, I think they've got him with some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled. And here's the 14th play of the drive. They're crowding the line. Touchdown, v -Tech. Nice run and a score by the halfback. And a nice call by the coach there. Just give it to your main man anytime you're near the goal line. He makes the PAT. It was a 14-play, 74-yard drive, and they put up seven points. Boy, this offense right now is just being physical, really controlling the line of scrimmage, and it's opening up some nice big lanes for the running back. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Yeah, this has just been a classic defensive battle all game long. I've been so impressed with both these defenses, especially the defensive line. They've been stout against the run. They've gotten pressure on the quarterback. It's made it tough for either one of these offenses to put up any points. Both sides have made their way back out, and we're just about set to get going again. Stays in bounds and made a nice catch. Once it all, going deep. This one will fall incomplete. The defensive coordinator did a great job with the play call there. He put his defense in alignment and a position to be able to make a play on the football. Everything works perfectly. They just dropped the football. Boy, the offense caught a break there. He just gets rid of it. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. From their own 36-yard line, it's third down. And he's tackled right away. I like this wide receiver a lot. He knows where he needs to be on the field so the quarterback can get him the ball. He made a terrific play to keep this drive alive. He wants it all going long. And he's got the junior. Touchdown, Scarlet Knights. Big touchdown, and now we're down to a one-score game. And they're looking to get two points here. Watch the run. Watch the run. Watch the run. Less than two minutes in the fourth quarter. And two. Motion. Orange Watch three. Orange motion. three. Motion. 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 They got it. So with less than two to go in the fourth quarter, the score is 17-14, Virginia Tech. What a play by the kicker to take him down. Things aren't tied, but they might as well be. It's this drive that could really dictate the tone for the last quarter. The Scarlet Knights taking their first time out of the half. From their own 43-yard line, second down. after a decent run up the gun. The Scarlet Knights call a timeout. That's their second of the half. He's at the 40. He's taken down around the 38-yard line. The defense might have just run out of chances with that first down right there. This offensive line definitely left it all in the field today. Give to the tailback, and he's met in the backfield. From the 39-yard line, it's second down. Mike 22, he's coming. 22 is coming. Mike, Mike. Go. One yard loss for the halfback. He 
He's at the 30. He's at the And they finally push him out at the 12. Really great game to watch. Both teams should be proud of their efforts in this one. 17-14, Hokie. That does it for this edition of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler saying so long.